This man from my walk looks like Gru from Despicable Me. Now oh, we're just gonna quickly Photoshop a bit of a longer nose on them. Oh my god! My ID left an impression of my ID pick on my badge holder. That, sir, is a ghost badge. Your ID is haunted. Call a priest. A balloon I accidentally shut in my car door didn't pop. Ooh, ooh. I am not someone who gets afraid of balloons popping, but this is giving me anxiety. Found this bunch of bananas in my box of runs. Okay, I don't have that in Australia, so I'm going to assume that's a rare find. Uh, like what? Do you usually just get one single banana or something? <laughs> I, I don't relate to this. There is a tiny gnome made of bubbles in the bottom of my glass. Oh, I was expecting it to be like built into the glass, but no, that is literally convenient. Screw seeing Jesus on toast. I want gnomes in my beer. I found a cake vending machine. Where where do you live? Please tell me. I need to know. Oh, it literally says it right there. Okay, I'm, I'm dumb. But... Well, that's way too far away from Australia, so it officially sucks. My friend and her sister have experienced changed the same birthday card for 32 years. Wow, that is some history. I love that you can read the writing that literally started it all. Just neither of you pass away, please, otherwise this will suddenly become very sad. The way this tree stump has a cityscape on it. You know, they always do say that New Yorkers are all bark and no bite. I know, because I personally have never been there. I made a Pueblo out of clay for my Roborov... Roborov... Robor... Roborovsky hamster. Frickin- that is such an easy word. How do I not know how to say it? Wow, did you definitely went further than you had to. That that is a very privileged hamster. Games at the thrift shop were arranged according to color. Quiet day today? Oh, how can you tell? Two-toned deer I saw this morning. And I'm very insecure about it, thank you. You do not need to take a photo. Bathroom at my dentist has a picture of the bathroom at my dentist hanging on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this a quality post? The way this Dutch company makes the biscuits easier to pick them up. Now see, that's what they want you to think. Realistically, they've accidentally damaged their cookie making press and so they're just selling this as a gimmick. That and secretly trying to save 1% on ingredients. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, I think there's a conspiracy here. A piece of my Swiss Army knife's handle chipped off, so I carved a dragon's head in the plastic to hide it. Where the hell was the chipped off piece, dude? That looks like a completely purpose job. These ducks practicing social distancing. Ducks can do it better than humans. That is, wow, that's a real low. Left an eye print in my glasses after I accidentally punched myself. Well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs> hey guys, you wanna see my party trick? <laughs> I just had my first colonoscopy and I got a sticker. Yeah. <laughs> why, are we, why are we being rewarded for this stuff? Though, in hindsight, this is technically a healthy thing to do, so I guess it makes sense that they're trying to encourage people doing this. But a sticker, man. A sticker. <laughs> I just had something shoved up my butthole for medical science. <laughs> Oh, did you get your colonoscopy? No, my boyfriend's studying medicine and I wanted to help relieve his stress. My raw egg has the number five on its yolk. Now this is cute and fascinating at first. Until the next morning when you make another little eggy breakfast. The yolk has number four on it. One of my forks came uncut. Okay, Ikea, I'm sorry, but you guys are getting really lazy now. This is ridiculous. The blossoms on my Lego bonsai are small frogs. Honestly, it, not knowing it made this look much prettier. Still a pretty clever use of Lego Figures. My aunt spilled the wine and the glass broke exactly in half. Well, I mean, the stem is technically the middle, so... It technically didn't fully split in half, so it's a bit of a lie there. But I seriously have to imagine that's possibly a design thing. Maybe the way they design these glasses are designed so that if they do break, it's a very clean shatter. I don't know, I have to wonder if they're like crystal glass or something. I know it depends on the actual glass make. I put little straw hats on my cactus. That better not be code for something. Oh, it isn't. Okay. Yes, this is cute. I approve. Very cute. American breakfast cereals imported and sold in Asia have their unsubstantiated health claims blanked out. Okay, for a country that's usually renowned for censorship, that is a terrible attempt at censorship. I mean, I can easily read that. It clearly says what? Oh, oh. One of the eggs I poached this morning came out looking like a human heart. Okay, seriously, what, <laughs> what is going on with our eggs these days? Is the chicken you got it from related to the mafia? Because this is clearly a threat. Old estate by my house was converted to a McDonald's. I can't tell if this is a sad use of a beautiful estate or a beautiful McDonald's. I mean, damn, I'd feel fancy as hell going here. A wall was removed in a Victorian house we are working at, which revealed an old cast iron fireplace. I have no idea how much of a rarity this kind of thing is, so I'm just gonna, you know... <clears throat> Oh, wow. 
all. That's amazing. Really good find. Found a patch of moss behind a loading dock that looks like a tiny tropical island with a palm tree. You made a patch of dirt in a loading dock look artistically beautiful. How... You better be a professional photographer, otherwise you are wasting your talents! My husband's fully reflective iridescence rain set. That is... Where did he buy that? Please? Please, I must know. The only wetness I'm experiencing is from the ladies on the dance floor. This egg, my chicken laid, looks like a Kinder Surprise egg. Sit Why always eggs? So no, this is how it starts. See, we like Kinder Surprises. We like to open them. This egg wants us to open it. It's clearly got some sort of poisonous gas or there's like a secret... A secret number in there that's gonna kill us off. Freaking tiny dinosaurs, man. They could, they're out here. This all the Dantas chair that looks like a Lego man sitting. Okay, that, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Until you imagine that thing literally just suddenly standing up and looking at you. My cat has a fur pattern that stretches perfectly over both legs when he is sitting like this. Wow, it's almost like there's like a shadow cat just having its paw over its other two paws there. I feel like this is the cat version of Peter Pan, except much less happy. <laughs> <laughs> the ridiculous length of my shadow. Oh, speaking of Peter Pan. Oh, God. Oh, I mean, I know I'm one who's into legs, but that's, that is just overkill. You know what they say about big legs? Big feet. You know what they say about big feet? Big dick. The exterior of the old library inside the new library. I am so glad they kept this because this just makes it look so pretty. I'd come to the library not even for the books, just to look at the architecture like this. My friend took this photo right as lightning struck. Wow. I mean, I have always noticed just how amazingly bright it gets at nighttime when a lightning strikes, but that is... That is a beautiful comparison. It seriously just looks like a rainy day. This McDonald's hasn't been renovated since the 80s and 90s. Oh man, look, look at those chairs. <laughs> Thank God they renovated. Still, weird to imagine the McDonald's used to be all about pink and what, teal, green, moss, swamp. <laughs> My new turtleneck has an incorporated face mask. I present to you 2021 fashion. Not gonna lie though, that's it's kind of fashionable. I dig it. Unintentionally mushroom risotto matches my countertop. Well, now you know where the design was originated from. One day some guy just spilled risotto all over his bench top and he's like, you know what? I tattooed a solar system on my forearm and later got a mole on Jupiter, which now represents its giant red spot. So many opportunities for this mole to have ruined this solar system design, but no, no, it decides to play the game. Chinese restaurant included negative reviews on their flyer. What? Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh. My only go-to restaurant. Well done. Big serves that full of meat. I ordered fried Amazing. rice without prawns, Your but I got a lot of prawns in my rice. rice. I want a refund. Food is bland and tasteless. Will not order here again. <laughs> Why? Oh no. Why didn't they have someone who was properly reading these? A new sign indicating that the speed limit has changed. That, okay. I feel as a driver, your responsibility should be to always notice the speed limit anyway, so you shouldn't need a new sign. It's not like it's on sale. At 45 years old, I finally learned how to ollie. Tony Hawk would be so proud. I tried to make Ron Weasley out of peas. You know what? You you did not fail. Though I'll be honest, I'm more so craving peas than anything right now. Oh, go ahead, I'm gonna boil up some peas. This pizza with way more toppings than shown on the box. Yo, what? why did you hide the brand? This is perfect marketing. You were, you were killing their business, man. All right, boss, just, just hear me out, boss. What if we do the opposite of everyone else? Plant me. Time. This tag was printed on eco-friendly plantable paper. Rip up tag, place in soil, keep moist, and place in the sun to grow. Now, in my personal experience, uh, this won't work. Mainly because I know I cannot grow anything. I have no green thumb. I am the bringer of death. Seems that old couch springs make for pretty good plant climbers. So anyone gonna start buying some old broken couches and selling the springs as actual products? No, just me. So I'll take advantage of the market. My potato looks like it's trying to escape itself. Ah, oh, first the eggs, now the potatoes. They're all becoming self-aware. Gotta say, he's got a sleek haircut though. Look at that, Oof, look at that wave. Oh man, look out Joestar. These old ornate handrails and an otherwise nondescript Copenhagen building. It's like all their architectural budget just went into these handrails. Handrails that notably are hardly even necessary to exist. 
Uh, look, wait, when you've got the cash, why not, I guess? If they don't look damn fly, I'll give them that. The building across the street reflected into my room. That is insane. I would not be able to stop staring at that. Like, would you just see shadowy figures walking across when people are crossing that street? Or like, what? I, I need video. This rooftop for bicycles so the saddle won't get wet. That is really cute. Your local city council clearly loves you. This extremely cheap, misweighed piece of salmon. Don't, don't let them know. Don't let them know. Run with it. Go. Now. Go. Someone clearly forgot to check the pound weight. This triangular shadow under my windowsills. It's all fun and games with cool little shadows until it grows a little eye in the middle. Signposts don't last long at this intersection. Jeez, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the eighth signpost. Are people constantly hitting this signpost? Look, are they stealing it maybe? How many more signpost brothers must die before they realize they need to fix this intersection? Park near my new house has a finger skateboard park. No. No, I eat one. Oh, <laughs> I can't tell if this is so stupid or so ridiculous that it's actually kind of cool. Oh man, I, I totally would play with a little skateboard along this, but I would not want to do it in public. This spider web covered in soot from a small kitchen fire. Or, or soot. Is it soot or suit? Soot. Soot. So it's so hot. It's kind of strange how it turns it from being very really kind of freaky to look at because it's a cobweb and therefore spiders to actually kind of groovy. Books a Million puts a slip of paper under the stickers on their books to prevent sticker residue from being left on the covers. Well, that's freaking genius. Whichever employee made that idea deserves to be promoted to CEO. Otherwise, I'm sorry, but they deserve better. The border of my tattoo turned into a stretch mark during my first pregnancy. Now it looks 3D. That is really cool, but also really scary to realize just how much your body stretches during such an ordeal. I mean, I guess skin is kind of elastic in that sense. It's designed to be able to handle that sort of thing. But at the same time, oh, y'all need to read up what it's like to go through pregnancy if you're not aware already, because it is, it is a freaking oh, gauntlet. My periodic table shower curtain has the element of surprise on it. <laughs> no. Oh, that's beautiful. That's really cute. I like this. I do like this a lot. Our hotel shower designed like a swimming pool. Not a fan of the dark swampy green, but you know what? It's it's creative. And that's what matters. Also, why did you get that shower head? That's a stupid shower head. You can't attach it. That's dumb. I know it's dumb, but do you look? You know what? The rest is creative. My gummy frogs came with a tadpole. Oh, how cute. A defect. My great grandmother's sketches of her teachers. 1924. Wow. Wow. Wow, that job trotter. That <laughs> Jingle, that is the coolest heck name. I'm running that down. I'm freaking Mr. Bob Sawyer. I'm sorry, swag much? Is the swag a thing? It was a drip. No, that's it. Check out his drip. That's the new thing we all say. See, I'm hip. Can't say the same for Mr. Perker. Jeez, is that enough pencils in your hair, mate? This dental office trims their shrubs to look like molars. Oh, gosh, that's something I would not even notice unless someone pointed it out to me. And I, I feel even worse for that, too, because you, you can tell they would have put effort into doing this consistently, and you would just not know the wiser. The sanitizer are at work has started to eat through the tile on the bathroom floor over the past year. Oh wee! Yeah, that's, that's a really strong sanitizer. <laughs> Acidic. <laughs> my wife just gave birth to our firstborn, and me and my son both have the same weird genetic abnormality where we have an extra large space between our first and second toes. Well, that's one way to prove it's yours, I guess. Tree fell, but grew back up. Oh, no, that's... <laughs> That's creepy, man. I'll be, uh, that is creepy. It's like a wooden tentacle or something. Just, ugh. Troll guarding bridge near my town. You know, that's really cute, but uh, if I was a little child, I would be absolutely terrified seeing that in the bushes. Just realized I have a vintage meat thermometer and a modern one, both from the same company. And they've hardly changed anything at all. Just look at that. Still red. Ugh. So basic and simple, these things. This vortex on my breakfast apple. No, see, what you have there is a black hole that's grown into your apple. I'd be very careful consuming it as you may not get your face back. The area I used to work in Washington looks like Jurassic Park. What the f- that- that's Washington? Yo, your American movies that have Washington in it do not look anything like this. This is insane. This hexagon vein structure on my wrist. <gasps> oh, no, that- that looks like some sort of chip, man. That- <laughs> I think you're being tracked. <laughs> you just wait. This is going to be on some conspiracy theorist Facebook group being like, Look, see, we were right. There's a chip. See, I, I knew it. That's a chip in his arm. My gummy worms melted into one giant piece, and it looks like stained glass. I bet it doesn't taste like stained glass, though. 
Go on, take a big old bite. You deserve it. Picked up a quintuplet acorn from my yard. I feel like this is a little bit more than mildly interesting. What are the freaking odds of that? This apartment statue of two bears looking at each other in my city. Okay, that one is mildly interesting. The flower on this tree looks like a little hummingbird. Oh my god, it really does. That's significantly more uncanny than I would have guessed. The progression of this blanket as my daughter started learning, then really improved at crochet. <laughs> That's so cool! You can see her experience in real time. Also, uh, what are her prices? I would love to buy a blanket. My remote is so old, it has a Blockbuster button. No frickin' way. What in the world would that button have done? I know Blockbuster kinda tried to jump in on Netflix's bandwagon, but ultimately <laughs> failed. I didn't know they tried hard enough to put a button on a remote. The kettle looks like a butt. Yes, it does. It most certainly does. Kinda looks a little bit like my butt. Smooth and shiny. Well, how about that? Really, what are the odds of some of these photographs so far? A blue clipper just happens to land on its own infographic? Come on. Dead cicada looks like Darth Vader. Oh, oh man, I despise bugs. But if there's one thing I hate more than bugs, it's dead ones, because they scare me just as bad. There is a brief moment of terror, where you think you've stumbled upon a horrifying insect in your bathroom, only to learn that it's a dead horrifying insect, and now you kind of have to get rid of it. Three ears I grew from the same heirloom corn variety. Oh, those are beautiful. The fruity pebbles of corn. <laughs> Seriously, those can't be real. They're too pretty. My son and I received nearly identical cuts in the exact same spot on our wrists on the same day. Jeez. Hold on. Let me take a closer look. Yeah. Wow. Verifiably impressive. A lot of these are, I would say, more than mildly interesting so far. Looks like r slash funny is getting its ass kicked all over the place, huh? I'm getting loads more entertainment out of this one. Tipped a bucket of dirty water down the sink and it made a pretty cool pattern. Ooh, I'll say that's a cool pattern. Now please clean your sink. Twinkies and Pop-Tarts in the Swedish Disgusting Food Museum. Hey, whoa! What the hell, Swedes? What's your problem? I know they're not exactly healthy, but they're delightful. Kiss my ass. You want to talk about disgusting foods? Why don't you go on over to Lexi's TikTok or YouTube and take a look at the types of stuff that she reviews, and then come back to me and say Twinkies and yeah, Pop-Tarts are yeah, disgusting, yeah, okay? Yeah. Storm drains in Japan are so pretty. You know, from what I've seen, everything in Japan is pretty. Why would I be surprised that the storm drain covers are too? You hear that, Japan? You win at everything including manhole covers. God! The frozen droplets on the freezer ceiling at my work. Oh, that kind of creeps me out. I immediately get a fight-or-flight response from seeing those. An economy class meal on a Japanese airline. Oh my god, is that beer? No freaking way. Dude, this is so unfair. I'm about to take a flight to the United Kingdom, and I swear to god it's gonna be nine hours of me wishing I had a package of peanuts. Thanks, United. A bowling pin-shaped egg from my chicken. Wow, she squeezed a little too hard on that one, huh? Eggplants that actually look like eggs. Isn't it because they're not quite ripe yet? Look, I clearly don't know too much about vegetation or vegetables in general. If you've seen what I look like, you'll understand. But these don't look like they're ready. Whoa, that would definitely make me do a double take. What's Dave Grohl doing all the way out here in the forest? There are fish that live in the flooded basement of an abandoned building by my job. Life, uh... Finds a way. Frozen hard-boiled egg. Ooh. Ooh, I don't like that at all. Wow. No thanks, guys. Looks like my fingertips after getting out of my one-hour-long shower. I took this picture of my apartment's business room, and it looks like a video game. You cannot convince me that that's an actual photograph of an actual place. I refuse to believe it. This is 100% the setting for a horror game, and you're not going to convince me otherwise. You can tell which one of my lenses has a prescription by the shadows they cast. That's actually incredibly nifty, what the hell? 
a bunch of golf balls cut in half. Wow, I was not expecting this much of a disparity between each and every golf ball. I mean, have we not standardized how we make golf balls? Everything we grew during quarantine. Tomato basil, sage, chili, lemon, leeks, and our first ever lemon harvest. Man, I can't even get a peace lily to stay alive. How are you doing this? You know, this is the second time I have seen some inanimate object accidentally create a treble clef, and I'm speechless. I'm genuinely speechless. Oh, would you look at that? You found my heart. Where was it this time, hmm? Oh, it was buried in the ground again? Yeah, that figures. A mouse was trying to hide in a vine in my room this morning. Uh-huh, very stealthy, young Padawan. Hmm, but not good enough. This perfectly square ice crystal that formed on my ice lolly. Huh, well, would you look at that? An unknown illness emerges in China. 59 infected, reporting from January of 2020. Unknown illness hits China. Local authorities have ruled out SARS and bird flu as the cause of a disease that has affected 59 people. Oh God, I hate seeing that so goddamn much. Could have stopped it so much sooner. <laughs> oh, wow. This jerky ships with a flosser inside. Well, thank God. You know how needed that is? That crap is not only expensive, but it's gonna get stuck places it shouldn't. My four-year-old kitty with dwarfism with her normal-sized son, about six weeks old. Yaw. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like me and my mom. My mom's like five foot five. I'm six foot three. <laughs> Whoa, what in the world's going on here? I genuinely don't like it. The spatula that came with the cake from a Korean bakery has matches inside and a spot on the back of the spatula to light them. Huh, that seems a little unnecessary. Wouldn't a standard box of matches on the side do just as well? What? It, this can't be something that happens every time, right? Like there's absolutely no way. Found this newspaper movie section from 1980 during some home construction. Ooh, let's see what we got. All right, Goldie Hawn in Private Benjamin. Never saw that. Is that Xanadu in the top there? I did unfortunately see that one. Flash Gordon, never saw it. Empire Strikes Back, of course I've freaking seen it. Lovers and Liars another Goldie Hawn movie, I don't care. And then, ooh, would you look at that? I'm thinking Arby's, what about you? No, what about Jakey's then? That's right, Nakey Jakey, I'm thinking of you. On September 2nd, 2019, a dog park record was established. Four dogs, in quick succession, peed on one woman. You have no idea how happy it makes me that someone out there, whether they're a city official or not, decided to commemorate this perfect occasion with a plaque nailed to the tree. That looks absolutely delicious. I'm no longer thinking Arby's or Jakey's, I'm thinking IHOP. Let's go. This picture I took today looks like it was taken 40 years ago. Was it not taken 40 years ago? Is the UK really stuck in time? <laughs> Comparison of a fully pollinated cucumber to a poorly pollinated one. Yes, you see, without bees, we are all going to die. Or rather, not just bees specifically, but any insect that pollinates, like bees. There are a few insects on my radar that while they still terrify me despite being a little bit cute, you know, like bumblebees, I will never, ever harm one. Wear a face covering. Okay, I don't like the way that guy's looking at me though. He's got a pretty neat hat though. My dad has sand from over 200 places from around the world. It's actually a pretty cool collection and incredibly unique to him. Oh, is that the black sand from Iceland? Hell yeah! The tomato we grew looks like Sauron's eye. Put the ring back. Cast it back into the fire from whence it came. Aw, I'm so happy that you're all so happy to see me. <laughs> I'm gonna scoop your face out and eat it. This never ending ish design on a can of non stick spray. Wow, that just keeps on going, doesn't it? <laughs> It is somewhat interesting when a company makes something like this and overthinks the design. Springfield, Oregon has lots of Simpsons murals. Wow, those look incredible. God, I really need to get back to Oregon someday. My plane has Star Wars themed seats. Discovered Curious George getting high on ether in one of my kids' books. George was very curious. It smelled funny. Suddenly his head began to turn. Then he felt as if he were flying. Then rings and stars danced before his eyes. Then everything went dark. No, George! No! Why do you have to go out like this? That's actually really, really cool. 
That might almost make up for the egregious bag charges and other garbage you have to deal with while on a plane. Not completely, but almost. Squids have teeth in their suction cups that need to be cleaned out before cooking. Wow, I didn't know that. Now that I do, I'm really glad I'm never ever going to prepare squid on my own. Our food delivery came with the temperatures of the chef and packer to be COVID safe. That's something I would absolutely not mind seeing going forward, DoorDash. My mom's original ticket to see the Beatles 1965 Shea Stadium concert. Damn right it better be framed. That's a really cool piece of history your mom's got. I found a pebble that looks like a slice of French toast. Dude, I am not gonna lie. I would have bit down on this thing. The pattern made from cleaning my bike's valve face looks like a Tolkien map. <laughs> It does! Good lord! Yo, is that Mordor down there? Found a moose tooth in the creek. Holy god, that is utterly massive. Yes, I am your Uber driver. Where are we going? Oh, I know exactly where that is. It'll take us about seven years. Wall at my house looks like a giant upvote. Not bad, not bad at all. This picture I took in a mine shows glass that has 2% of uranium. That's why it glows in ultraviolet light. That is gorgeous. What the hell? If you needed any evidence to believe just how easily impressed I am, me gawking at all of this crap from mildly interesting definitely proved it. <laughs> I have smooth brain. I apologize. Olive Garden USB drive that looks like a bag of breadsticks. Where the hell can I get an Olive Garden USB drive? This vintage record player slash radio upcycled into a mid-century modern cat bed featuring Owen the cat. Oh, <laughs> Owen seems to really enjoy it. This grocery display contains both watermelon and watermelon cakes. Hmm. Watermelon cakes. Are they also flavored like watermelon? Because good god, I hope not. This public foot spa in Japan designed so that wheelchair users can use it too. That is incredibly thoughtful. How kind. Yet again, Japan wins. I found plane wreckage while hiking in a state park this weekend. There's a certain video game that comes to mind in regards to a forest atmosphere like this and a plane crash. And I gotta tell you, if you're in the middle of that, run. Rodent is storing acorns. <laughs> acorns, no, not a famous music artist. Acorns in my car's vent. Well, clearly you suck at keeping your car clean so much, the rodent itself is having to resort to giving your car a bit of a nutty, musky scent. Muskiness mainly coming from the rodent's rat droppings, but that, that's beside the point. My bachelor's degree is signed by Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know, it's... <laughs> It's rather disappointing that that's the signature. It's kind of expecting some sort of weird, just, you know, his name signed along the side there. But I guess on the other side of things, that's a really weird thing to have someone sign. This balcony has a balcony on it. Okay, you gotta ask, is this a flex? Or would you say this is terrible architecture design? Because on one hand, two balconies. On the other hand, it's weirdly two balconies. At least if you drop your phone off the top balcony, it's not, you know, immediately lost. We visited the largest bench in Germany. As an Australian, and therefore a citizen of a country that is literally famous for the amount of unnecessarily big versions of things, I call this a cute attempt to replicate our magnificence. You got a bench? We've got a big banana! And a big pineapple! And a big ram! And I'll have you know, it does have its testicles on the sculpture. <laughs> what? Why? Why does it? A real and very rare $500 bill. Let me just uh, screenshot that and copy and paste on a Word document 500 times and bam! There we go. Out of rarity. You're welcome. My dad burnt a pancake so bad it camouflages with the black pan. <laughs> Oh god, I I don't want to judge. Because I know I could achieve this very easily myself, somehow. Some say the most skilled chefs are magicians in the kitchen. I disagree. I believe the true magic comes from those who achieve this level of terrible skill. <laughs> the Volkswagen Golf Harlequin I spotted today. That is just entirely 80s fashion right there. This painting in a waiting room is the same print as my phone case. Well, clearly one of you has to change. And let's be honest, the painting was there first, so... Off you go. The way 
way the light hits this spider web makes it look like a CD-ROM. My god, the spiders, they're learning how to pirate. Found an IRL thinking chair at an estate sale today. Yo, how do you like not at least fathom that this could possibly be the original thinking chair? I'm fathoming it so much I've run out of the ability to say possibly properly. Swear to god, if you buy that thing and don't read your mail while sitting on it, you even you've wasted your money. My dishwasher has a spot specifically for chopsticks. <laughs> Something tells me that their original designs always had this, but they realized no one was ever aware that they were there. But simply spend another $1,500 on a brand new washer and it comes with a piece of plastic to tell you where to put them. Last year, we had a bag break and it dropped a 1.75 liter bottle of vodka and the pavement's been clean there ever since. Yeah, just your friendly reminder that most alcohol is technically a cleaning product. But well, my goodness, if that cleaning product doesn't go swell with an orange juice. These are plastic things used to keep a dead person's eyes and lips closed for a funeral. <laughs> why, why is it smiling? This is, I'm, I am never going to be able to look at an open casket funeral with... <laughs> without knowing this is in them. Dune book that you can read on any sides. Oh, yo, that is, that's actually very well done. Hats off to the designer of that cover. Though I guess someone could easily mistake this for saying bund. This Waffle House menu has sales tax included. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming this is America. America, I have a complaint to make towards your department. Why don't you include sales tax? I go out to eat food, not do personal math equations. This window in a local library that goes into a creek. Please, please invest in putting some sort of submerged bookcase in the creek. My daughter's homemade Dalek costume. Okay, that is amazing. It's the perfect costume for when you want to put in some creative juices, but also want to be able to push people away from you if you don't feel like socializing. Found this 1829 silver half dime in the woods. Nickels weren't invented yet. How dare you? Do you realize the value of that kind of currency back then? Someone's clearly spent the last 192 years trying to recollect their financial stability and you just go ahead and take it from them. My dad found a face as the pocket of his pepperoni pizza pants. God damn, that is no doubt the person who made those pants. And if it isn't, I am severely disappointed. That is a beautiful Easter egg, so well done. My able-bodied wife found herself in a fencing tournament with a wheelchair-restricted opponent. At first, I'm assuming they're stuck in place, but then there's all these wiring around. Like, can those things move? Someone research this for me because I'm too lazy to. This clean color spectrum on my floor right now. Oh, careful. You're breaking the matrix. Neurologist, let me take a picture of my spinal fluid after my lumbar puncture procedure. Please don't be gross. Please don't be gross. Please don't be gross. Please... Okay, that's not too bad. I was genuinely expecting something far more disgusting than just clearness. But also on that note, oh dear God, that is a lot of fluid. The way the mud froze on my truck looks like a painting in the forest. Yo, how, what? I mean, you, you understand, you can never wash your car now, right? Like seal it away in some sort of mass freezer. That is, that is genuine art. A salt crystal I grew at home. One might judge this as looking rather small of a crystal, but hey, don't be so salty. My microwave has a help button. Okay, you can't just reveal that to us and not explain what it does or says. The feet on this bench at my gym look a lot like an impaled iPhone. Well, you wonder what they do with recycled phones. When you clean out the table saw after a few jobs, it looks straight up geological. I disagree. That looks like a giant chocolate filled lamington. God damn it, now I'm hungry. Saw a little car that only fits one person and only has one headlight. No, I'm sorry, that is not a car. That is a go-kart. How can that thing possibly catch up enough speed to be roadworthy? There is just something uncomfortable about a car with only one headlight. My lotion looks like a cat. Aw, look at that cute little creamy pussy cat. I can't wait to rub it all. God damn it. I can't wait to rub it all over my face. I'm not <laughs> proud of that one, okay? I'm not, I'm not proud. A microwave cookbook for lonely people. Oh, come on. It doesn't even say that. It just says for one. That doesn't, that doesn't mean we're lonely. <laughs> Okay, just means we don't need to buy as much from the supermarket. This perfectly stocked grocery store, the day before its grand opening. If there's something I'd like to tick off my bucket list, it's to go inside a store just as they've restocked everything. I want to experience the eerie discomfort of everything being perfectly organized. This guy at a Starbucks reading the paper from 1963. Okay, come on. This guy is clearly a time traveler who accidentally went far more into the future than he planned. As if he has that hood over his face as some sort of fashionable 
choice. My dad still has an unopened bottle of chilled crystal Pepsi in his fridge. Would you look at that? Something to use as blackmail should dad not do what you want. A very literal half pint. <laughs> <laughs> that is no doubt a gag glass for those who ask for. I'll just have half if I can. Found an overdue rental at my mum's house from 1994. Damn, ain't you lucky that they ran out of business. Fairy ring that grew in my yard. I know this looks aesthetically beautiful and kind of cool it happened so naturally. But I see these kind of mushrooms and my young boy childhood instincts kick in. I need to kick those over. I'm sorry, I love destruction. My sister saw the rock that was on the car cover of her college textbook. Oh, well, look at you, Mr. Rock. You're more of a celebrity than me. <laughs> uh, now I'm less cooler than two rocks. The store by my new house still sells candy cigarettes. There's a company here in Australia that tried to rebrand theirs, leaning as far away from the subtle implication that they're cigarettes as much as possible. Know what they called them? Fads. Yeah, you thought something else, didn't you? I threw a very long shadow at sunset near her terrace, North Carolina. Ork. Yeah, nice try, Slender Man. I'm sure it's just the angle of the sun. Every Vauxhall car built since 2004 had a hidden shark somewhere in the car. Found mine in the glove box. Okay, you know what? That is actually really awesome. Please normalize the idea of car manufacturers having Easter eggs in their own products. There's a public solar-powered smartphone charging station in my city. Okay, that's cool, but why is it shaped like a bench? Does it work through the power of your anus? Because I'm gonna take a long walk and the last thing I'm gonna see when I see that thing is the idea of charging my phone. No, I'm gonna put my butt on it. Can only imagine how confused an elderly person would be when they come across this thing. <laughs> yeah, my butt's feeling rather warm. Snake looking through my glass door. Aww, just, just let him in. Come on. Just look, look at those beady eyes. He's lonely. My girlfriend made a stew inside a pumpkin. Okay, yeah, sure. That's cool. Whatever. That's talented. But again, have you been able to make it the same color as your own black pan? I don't think so, because you're not magic. You're nothing. You're basic. The sun reflection through my window is shaped like a sword. Hello, my child. Oh, wow, cool, a sword. No, it is I, your lord and snake. I'm gonna go stab things with it. Ah, screw this, I'm flooding, y'all. The public restroom has facing toilets. I've said it once and I'll say it again. Best friends do everything together. A classroom in my university has a tree growing inside of it. Okay, what... Who screwed up the building plan this much? Surely someone at some point in the building process was like, why don't we just make this part the outdoor area? Why, why not here? Can I get, just, can someone get me in contact with that tree's lawyer? My $10 trillion Zimbabwe banknote I use as a bookmark. Okay, that... <laughs> That is just mean. I'm sure it is a quirky collectible of some kind, but man, what a what a what a dig at Zimbabweans. US banknotes are actually slightly color coded. I boosted the saturation in the pick. As you see, Your Honor, my client's monopoly money was a totally acceptable currency in this scenario. Vape detection in our school restrooms. Okay, as someone who went to a school where they said they had security cameras, but upon going to the local reject shop, you find out they were just dummy cameras. I think you should test this out. A receipt found in a book from 1992. Not a vegetable in sight. What are you talking about? Look, they got beans. What the f- My Claritin is packaged weird. Clearly they need to pack it with a bit more. <laughs> Clarity. On a side note, I do believe it is because it better defines their brand of the product. I'd imagine another brand of this drug would use a different design of packaging. Though that's just my theory. A game theory! My odometer has no zero. One, one, two twos, three threes, and four fours. Well, that's it. You, you can't drive that from now on. You, you understand that, right? Like, you will be sent to jail. I will, I will personally go into politics to make changing this kind of thing illegal. Just do the equivalent of taxidermying a car and leave it there. I saw Mark Zuckerberg and his wife, Priscilla Chan, at McDonald's. Ew, what? Is... <laughs> 
Is he trying to be a human? Oh, who does he think he is? Using up someone else's place in line when he could easily afford to get Uber Eats instead. I refuse to face the irony that my hate for him not splurging his money makes me hate him even more. Privileged rich person, ah. Dropped my headphones at the beach and it pulled iron out of the sand. Well, there is a little magnet in there, is there not? Something, you know, a little, uh, yes, there's plenty of iron in the sand. That is cool. The corrosion on this water tap looks like a map. Okay, this, I, I have seen this this one before as well, and I still, I have no idea how it looked this perfectly cool. Yeah, this looks like I'm looking at the top of Montana or something like that. How? These three random men in my photo look like the same person. They absolutely do. I can easily tell they're not, you know? The first two look a lot more similar than the guy in the back, but, uh... <laughs> my black cat looks like my white cat's shadow. <laughs> Are you sure that you have a black cat? Is that not just a shadow? I got a warning for leaving my laptop unattended in the library. If we had time to leave this card, a thief had time to remove your belongings. That's actually quite not- Do you not have a password set up on your laptop? Anything like that? Look, I trust people enough to leave my things unattended while I go pee real quick or something like that, but I'm going to lock them. <laughs> <laughs> no shot am I going to leave them open and completely vulnerable. My friend's phone case blends in with this 1980 school library circulation desk. Oh, oh my god, it really does. That is not what I was expecting to see. I, I don't know what it was I was expecting, but it wasn't something quite this perfect. Is this just, you know, that wood grain pattern that's not actually part of the wood and instead it's just textured or painted on or something? Is that what we're looking at now? Not on the phone, on the table. The sun hit this freshly paved tarmac just right and made a real life rainbow road through polarized lenses. <laughs> you don't want to drive down that road. Not until you're ready, okay? That's where boys become men and girls become women. The Rainbow Road. I built a miniature audience out of ads I got in the mail. Okay, but that's freaking great, though. I don't know what the practical purpose would be, but that's just an adorable little art project you have going on. <laughs> My husband's fully reflective iridescent rain set. All right. Oh, it's one of those. I feel like a lot of celebrities should be wearing these. You know, once that flash hits, whoop, boom, your photo is worthless. As we all know, screwing with the paparazzi should absolutely be priority number one. If we have to deal with them, that is. I found the cliff this cliff bar came from. Did you really? D oh, you did. Wait, is that actually the, is that true? Is that accurate or does it just match really well? Because the cliff bar cliff is pretty, well, okay, I guess you're right. I forgot about the mountain range in the back. All right, you win this round. You want to know how you can win the next round? By heading over to mkshop.com and checking out our merch. Make sure you use code BOOBIN at checkout for free shipping, though. My neighbor's house encased in ice after the recent blizzard in Ohio on shore of Lake Erie. Oh, this is going to be great. <laughs> how do you prepare a home to not be completely destroyed by something like this? Does, does this ice not damage the sh out of the home? My husband ordered a used laptop, and it arrived completely packed by little paper cranes. Oh, well, I feel like that's a little more sustainable than a box full of packing peanuts, but I do wonder, as packing material, how effective are the cranes? We found neighboring houses with the same colors as our jackets. Well, that's just kind of cool. Where in the world are you? I'm trying to pinpoint that architecture, and I just can't. Clearly European, but anyway, I drew poppy outlines for my class to cut out. They look like they overlap, but they don't. They don't? Oh my god, it's tripping me out. That's amazing. Wow. You created a pretty cool little optical illusion there. My grandpa has a case for his sauces. That's because your grandfather is a man of culture, of true ingenuity. <laughs> the man loves his sauces. What are you going to do about it? Local Mexican restaurant used to be a Chinese restaurant. Instead of painting over the mural, they just put sombreros on the pandas. That's actually awesome, though. Like, that's so cool. I would- I'd get a giggle out of that. Come on, that's adorable. The Korean taco place we got takeout from gave us a roll of toilet paper with our meal. <laughs> Wonder if it's cheaper than napkins. I can't imagine that it is. There's no way, right? I have partial heterochromia in both eyes. Ooh, what are the odds of that? especially considering they seem to be flip-flopped. They're opposites. 
That is super neat, though. Our cat Mia rests her front paws on her tail to keep them off a cold surface. Well, isn't that just the cutest thing I've seen today? <laughs> this bee photobombed my picture and ended up in perfect focus. Oh my god! You know how hard it is to get focused that good on anything, even with autofocus? This pet shop don't sell bunnies at Easter. Good! Yeah, absolutely good. Owning rabbits can be very rewarding and enjoyable. It's also a long-term commitment that you need to make sure you're ready for. Yeah, that's completely fair, and I'm totally with them on that one, man. It's kind of like most shelters will not allow you to adopt a black cat during the Halloween season, and it's for good reason, because there are a lot of psychopaths out there that want to hurt them because they actually have f***ed up beliefs about how black cats are evil demonic creatures. Yeah, no. Screw all that sh It's disgusting. And also, yes, animals are a commitment. You don't get one for just the season and then get rid of it. That's messed up, dude. Just don't do that. Ken Jung was a physician at the hospital I work at. Was? Oh, yeah. There we go. Was. I forgot he doesn't really practice medicine anymore. At least I don't think he does. But hey, I figure if you're already a physician, a medical doctor, if you will, that would probably be the best time to try out your dream of acting or whatever like he did. <laughs> Because, hey, once his 15 minutes was up or is up and he's just not getting to the same level as he was before, he's still a doctor. So pretty legit. Something good to fall back on. The review this pub put on the wall. The pub specializes in craft beer. Oh, boy. It's a one star review, too. That's how you know it's good. Looked OK from the outside. Too many local unknown beers to choose from once inside, though. No Stella Cronenberg, etc. or any popular beer. We stayed for one pint and left to a proper pub. No, shut up. That's that's the best endorsement you could have given a place that specializes in non-garbage. Not that beer isn't garbage. It's all terrible. I'm so it is. As a guy that likes beer, it's all freaking gross. But hey, artisanal stuff is fun. This toothpaste describes what each of its ingredients is and its purpose. I feel like we should require that for all sorts of things. Oh, ingredients. Sodium lauroil? Sarcosinate? That's a hell of a thing. Uh, sustainable palm oil. Okay, I really hope you can prove the sustainable palm oil bit, because I don't buy anything that has palm oil in it. <laughs> or I try. It's in everything, okay? You know how upset I got after I made my last video over on my own? channel, finding out that palm oil is used in Oreos? Like, why? I saw four generations of Honda Civics in order of age, all in white. They knew what they were doing, okay? My boyfriend's homegrown potato looks like the Reddit icon. No, no, that was done. No, uh-uh, you're bullshitting me. There's no way the potato accidentally came out looking like the damn Reddit alien. No friggin' way, dude. The angle of the sun removes the italics on the shadow. <laughs> That's pretty cool, actually. What in the world? That's just perfect. The fog during my flight makes Illinois seem like it hasn't rendered. Mmm. Yeah, the texture's still a little blurry, so I love that. Howdy! Is that spirit? Nah, it feels like spirit. My Uber driver offered a conversation menu for his ride. All right. Oh, you're in Fairbanks. Okay. The road rage ride. <laughs> the analyst ride. Something bothering you? The informative ride. The restaurant ride. The Simon and Garfunkel ride. <laughs> Could I get Simon and Garfunkel, please? Please? Absolutely. Or the the me ride. I tell you about me. The political ride. Just kidding. You have yours. I have mine. I can't change your mind and you can't change mine. <laughs> Want your picture taken. A course in photography has given me a solid foundation for snapping good pictures. Seems like he really likes the gig. I appreciate Uber drivers that just seem to enjoy what they do. Bathroom at my dentist has a picture of the bathroom at my dentist hanging on the wall. Huh. They must be proud of how clean and nice it is. I have a hereditary gap in my eyebrow. Oh, it's one of those. Okay. I always wondered about that little eyebrow gap. I always assumed it was a scar if I ever saw it. Guess that's not the case. My dog destroyed her toy cactus, and there was another sad cactus inside. <laughs> that is how you design a fun dog toy, because they know it's going to be destroyed. It's kind of the point. My friend met a stranger at a wedding that looked just like him and was wearing the same thing. But that's awesome, though. You <laughs> Which one's your friend, the taller one or the shorter one? I am a little curious there. The golf balls at the mini golf on this pier are biodegradable and fall into the sea at the 18th hole. Okay, well, I don't... Oh, it's... Okay, you kind of got me a little annoyed there for just a second because biodegradable is a little bit different than fish food. Food that feeds the fishes. That's totally fine. That means it's not just going to biodegrade. The fish there are going to eat it. 
Because uh, <laughs> I was assuming that, yeah, our balls are 100% biodegradable and we chuck them in the ocean by the thousands every day just to prove it, which would have been stupid, but I'm glad that that detail was shown. This window that makes my backyard look like it's in four different seasons. Again, that's fantastic. I know it's not the window that's making it look like that. It's the perfect evolution of the trees outside that's making it look like that. The window's just helping to frame it. I like to make little drawings of people that I see. See, now this is a thousand times better than those freaks that take photographs of people without their consent and post it on social media saying weird shit about them. Yeah, even if it's a compliment, don't do that. But this, this is adorable. I like this, and your art style is stupid cute. My local supermarket is selling airplane food because nobody is flying. Nobody's flying. Taste of thin air, really? Oh god, that does not bode well for me because I'm traveling back to Finland in the summer, um, so I can actually experience, experience, excuse me, more of the country. So I really, really, really hope that Finnair's not going to charge me ten times the amount of money to go back again. I would be very upset and sad if they did. Oh, please say this does. <laughs> oh, please. My bank sent me 64 copies of the same debit card. Maybe you should contact them and tell them to chill out. I built the $800 Lego Millennium Falcon set out of parts I already had. You know, I kind of really wish that you had the official set next to this one so we could see. Now all you gotta do is just spray paint the whole thing the same color. Solid gray, silvery, whatever the fuck. Is it white? I don't know. I've been to Disneyland, but okay, I've been hundreds of times, but the last time I went, I saw the Millennium Falcon in person and being colorblind, is it gray? Is it just gray? Because I don't know, there are some shots where it did not look very gray in the original footage because we watched the 4K77 restoration project instead of the fuck. My friend's cat got shaved at the vet and now she looks like a game of exquisite corpse. What does that mean? I mean, yeah, the cat looks silly, but what? what is that? Was at the beach and found a shell with barnacles on it that makes it look like an anatomically correct heart. Okay, that is kind of freaky. That is super uncanny, right? My 100% complete collection of every Lego shield ever made. Lego sh- Oh, those ones! Okay, these are the types of collections I'm always super envious of because I'd never think of something like that. Also, how do you hunt down items this niche? What the hell do you look up on eBay to find a singular Lego minifig shield? Or a specific one that you're missing from your collection? This is rad as hell, I love it. My college used to be a shopping mall. Honestly, that's really cool. I've always wondered about shopping malls. When it's finally time for them to be sold off because no one is shopping there anymore, what do you do with it? The biggest thing I could think of was, there's gotta be a way to retrofit these guys for residences. You know, homeless, large, large homeless shelters. The sizes of malls are just insane, so you should be able to make it pretty comfy, okay? But a college? Never once even thought about that, but that's really, really neat, actually. This tree grew over the sign, but under the paint. Huh, I wonder how the hell that happened. TV light simulator. Wait, what? Oh, that's adorable. How clever. Make your neighbors think that you're completely insane. <laughs> Man, they've been watching that TV for like eight months straight. Do you think they're alive? That is actually a really cool idea, though. I, I, I have to say, the one thing that's strange about it is <laughs> simulate the light of a real 27-inch HD TV. My monitors at my computer are 27 inches. That's such a specifically small size. The guy who does the grass for my building left a rectangle of wildflowers so the bee can use them. Well... It's because he knows that you can't exterminate everything. Come on, that's smart. That's very, very smart. I hope you don't get rid of it because without bees, we're dead. I bought some suspiciously perfect bananas yesterday. Hmm, those don't look real. The furniture hardware is sorted by step rather than by type, okay? Oh, thank you. So much smarter than other places I've seen do this exact thing. Wow, G why doesn't everyone do this? And look, marked spare parts, so I'm not gonna be confused about having extra, because that happens every time. I'm like, why do I have extra pieces? Did I screw something up? Without barriers, the British still know how to queue. <laughs> Honestly, why is that such a funny calling card? 
Why is it great that you guys know how to line up perfectly every time? Meanwhile, the last Comic-Con I went to, people had no freaking clue how to do the simplest line. So easy. Without a bunch of stanchions and rope, people have no idea what to do over here. And we have the Disney parks. Those parks are 80% lines and we still don't know how to do it. This tree looks like straight up broccoli. Oh my god, that is way more broccoli-like than I was expecting. The sun shining through my fish tank aligned perfectly on each knob. Oh, holy shit, though. <laughs> Some of these are way more than mildly interesting. My broken antenna on my car looks like a half-sunken boat. <laughs> I have seen this one before, and it's so true. I love that comparison. Nappies in Sweden have a father on the packaging. Aha, because, you know, fathers are supposed to be there too. It's not 1953 anymore. Dad's not gone all day so that he can come home and yell at everybody. Dad should be doing stuff like this. And the amount of mofos out there online that say that it's really creepy and weird that the dad has the baby on his bare chest. Like, no, nah, it's pretty freaking normal, okay? Shows what you know about being a good parent. Oh, nothing. My Australian tax return shows where my money went. Ah, yes. Something that makes sense. Like, look at, look at that giant chunk for defense. Good lord. Okay, I do like seeing that the majority of it has gone towards welfare for those that absolutely need it. The unemployed, families, the aged. Look at how much of that. They realize that this is necessary. Like, I don't know. It's really great being able to see a breakdown. Uh, maybe if you're a b about it over here in the US, you can see something like this. Maybe not. Uh, <laughs> I have to deal a lot with the IRS and mm, they like to hide stuff. Sure, a lot of companies like to make sure that they hide stuff, but yeah, mm, super cool. Fuel and energy, 40 bucks. Well, thank God you're keeping that industry alive. My hotel phone in Iceland has a special button that will wake you up if there are northern lights in the sky. That's awesome. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't want to be woken up to see the Northern Lights? This hexagonal, hexagon, he, he, whatever, graph paper for organic chemistry. That is really cool, though. I mean, come on, it's a very, very specific need, but it's a need you'll probably need or have nonetheless. My grandma's titanium hip after the cremation. Well, time to recycle it. <laughs> I, I am curious, you know, what do you what do you do with this? Do you actually have it recycled so it can be reused in somebody else's body or in a phone or computer? Like what in the world do you do with this? Or do you keep it? Do you keep grandma's hip much like you would keep the ashes? Japanese government sends individuals quarantining at home free care packages. Shown is for one person, me, in Tokyo. Ah, uh, yes. I do remember seeing countries that gave a f about its citizens, sending them things that helped them survive when they weren't allowed to leave their homes. That sure would have been cool. And no, I don't count the single goddamn $1,400 payment as really helpful. Yeah, that should carry you for several months. What? My local library has a library of things for residents to borrow useful household items like toolkits and power washers. Shout out to libraries across the globe for being Probably the best things ever. Just the best things. Straight up. You know there are people out there that work in all of our governments collectively that would do everything they can to get rid of libraries entirely. Could they wait the money? But they're the most useful f***ing things we have in society. Especially the ones that do stuff like this. They take any extra budget they may have and do something incredibly practical that makes sense. Also, libraries are probably one of the last places in the world that you're not expected to pay money to be in. Really relieves that pressure. <laughs> My airplane bathroom had a window in it. See, why can't I ever be on a cool plane? I've never been on a neat one before, ever. A list of American amendments that were never approved. Oh, this is gonna be great, isn't it? 1876, an attempt to abolish the United States Senate. Ooh, <laughs> all right. The forbidding of religious leaders from occupying a governmental office or receiving federal funding. That one didn't pass? An executive council of three to replace the office of president. I do wonder how that one would work. I mean, clearly it would have to be at least a little better than one dude, right? Renaming this nation the United States of the Earth. Shut the hell up with that one. Abolishing the Army and Navy. Yeah, there was no way they were going to let that one happen. Acknowledging that the Constitution recognized God and Jesus Christ as the supreme authorities in human affairs. 
Well, that goes super against separation of church and state, and boy, oh boy, am I glad that one didn't make it. Making marriage between races illegal. Okay, finding divorce to be illegal. Man, the amount of murders, domestic murders, are gonna, they're gonna skyrocket if that one had gone through. All acts of war should be put to a national vote. Anyone voting yes had to register as a volunteer for service. Okay, I feel like that one has been talked about for a long time. Because I've heard that proposed by random people on the internet, but I wasn't aware that it was something we actually brought up at one point. It makes enough sense to me. If you want us to go to war and you want to send the armed forces to battle somewhere, you should have to go with them if you can. That seems fair enough, right? I'm sure there's some nuance there I'm missing, but... I'm not seeing any extra context here, so I can't really go by that. An attempt to limit personal wealth to a million. Yeah, by 1933, no freaking shot. If you had tried that in, like, 1802, maybe. An attempt to allow the American people to vote on whether or not the United States should go to war. Really? They wouldn't even let us vote on that? The, the, shit. the forbidding of drunkenness in the United States and all of its territories. Yeah, no shot. The income tax maximum for an individual should not exceed 25%. Look, if you're worth $200 billion, I think it should exceed it by a lot. But, you know, they're kinda rare. The right of citizens to segregate themselves from others. I feel like citizens have the right to do that on their own anyway, but individually, I guess? If you want to segregate and be f***ing weird, go for it. Who gives a sh? I'm not you. But, uh, I don't know. American citizens should have the alienable right to an environment free of pollution. Wow. Yeah, you could tell that one was from 1971. You could absolutely tell. Just a few years before the World's Fair in Spokane, Washington in 1974, which was all about economic growth and environmental stability and cleanliness and all that fun sh**. <laughs> Pathetic. Pathetic that we don't have the right to an environment that's not goddamn disgusting because the richest people in the world want to keep destroying it. Our refrigerator has revolving levels so you can reach everything easily. That's awesome. Where can I buy a cylindrical fridge in the year 2023? Because that's cool as shit. Also, what you have is such a rare item. If it ever breaks, pay anything to fix it. I'm not even kidding. That is so cool. I don't even care about the efficiency. You know what? You can have a guy make it efficient for you. Just please, don't get rid of it. That's such a thing from a bygone era, man. Our electrician left all of the screws in a vertical position in our new kitchen. Oh, no, it's not OCD. They're just particular and they like a clean particular look. I don't know why I said particular twice now. I've said it three times. Okay, I gotta go. <laughs>